In this video, we will solve linear equations with like terms on opposite sides of the equation. To do so, first, identify the like terms and decide which term or terms should be moved to create an equation with like terms on each side. Second, add to both sides of the equation the opposite of each term that is to be moved. Third, combine like terms on each side of the equation. And fourth, solve the resulting equation by using the multiplication axiom. For example, solve these equations. 2x plus 4 equals 8. There is a constant on each side, so we will subtract 4 from each side to get all constants on the same side. If we subtract 4 from 2x plus 4, we have 2x. And if we subtract 4 from 8, we have 4, so 2x equals 4. Then we divide both sides by 2 and get x equals 2. Likewise, if we have 9 minus 4x equals 8x, we can add 4x to both sides of the equation. That leaves 9 on one side and 12x on the other. Dividing both sides by 12, we get x equals 9 twelfths, which is equal to 3 fourths. Sometimes the variable is eliminated when like terms are combined. When this happens, there are two possibilities. If the resulting equation is true, the solution is all real numbers. Any value will make the equation true. If the resulting equation is false, there is no solution. No value will make the equation true. For example, solve the equations. Our first equation is 4x minus 3 equals 3x minus 3 plus x. The first thing we'll do is combine like terms on the right-hand side of the equation. We've got 3x plus x, which is 4x. So we have 4x minus 3 equals 4x minus 3. Then we subtract the 4x from each side. That leaves us with negative 3 equals negative 3, which is true. The solution is all real numbers. So for example, if x equals 0, we have 4 times 0 minus 3 equals negative 3, and 3 times 0 minus 3 plus 0 equals negative 3, and we have negative 3 equals negative 3, which is true. If x equals 7, we have 4 times 7 minus 3 equals 28 minus 3 plus uh, 28 minus 3, which is 25, and 3 times 7 minus 3 plus 7 is 21 plus 4, which is 25. 25 equals 25, so this is true. Now we'll solve this equation. 3x minus 7 equals x plus 2x minus 11. Then 3x minus 7 equals 3x minus 11. If we subtract 3x from both sides, we're left with negative 7 equals negative 11, which is false. So there is no solution. An equation that is true for any value of the variable is called an identity.